Every year, winter does what it does and shuts down much of my garden. Sure, some plants squeak by unfazed by the snow and bitter cold, but for the most part, it's dark, dreary days. And it's this prolonged dormancy that has growers yearning for the coming spring. However, not only is the winter break a good thing, for some plants, such as this blueberry, it's a necessity. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms, and welcome to another episode of The Garden Quickie, where in two minutes or less, we cover the hot gardening topics of the day. Or in this case, the cruel ones, because today is all about vernalization. So just what is vernalization? Well, the textbook definition of vernalization is the induction of a plant's flowering process by exposure to prolonged cold. So, in a nutshell, it's the seasonal trigger that allows the flowering and bud formation in perennial and biennial plants. But why is that important to us growers? Well, think about it. As temperate gardeners, every fruit we grow is the direct result of this flowering and bud formation over winter. And in our modern times, there's a ton of things that mess with this process. Things such as different plant varieties, our local weather, climate change, not to mention gardeners like you and me growing non-native plants and possibly growing crops out of season. It's definitely something to think about next time you harvest that delicious summer fruit. Know what else is delicious to think about? Quite likely the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.